Hey, have you ever sat there pondering what is, what are these cement mixture ratios and what 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 do these numbers mean? Okay, well you got one, two, three, or you might have a one, two, four. You could even possibly have a one, two, four, one. Well, what these are? The first number is your cement. Second number is your sand. Third number is your gravel. Now, if you have a fourth number, that's going to be your additive. Okay, so what what so now that that that's we're going to total it up these become a fraction this is one two three four five six so that's sixths this one would be sevenths okay and this one would be eighths so let's do let, let's do a one two three one mixture okay let's do a one two one mixture for a cubic yard okay so now what we're going to need to know is how many cubic feet are in a cubic yard there is 27 cubic feet in a yard now if you're going to do cubic feet to inches there is 1728 cubic inches in a cubic foot okay and another number that you're going to need to know for the two other numbers that you're going to need to know for this okay a cubic foot, one cubic foot, equals 94 pounds, okay? One cubic foot equals 7.448 gallons, okay? So now we got these. Now let's sit down and figure out one cubic yard for making cement. So now we got one sixth of cement we got two six of sand we've got three six of gravel okay and we've got one sixth of additive okay most additives come in a fluid liquid form okay so make note this is how it's going to work so now what we have to do is we got to divide one by six and then we're going to round it up, round the number up to the closest thousandths. So that gives us 0.166. We're going to divide, do it again. 2 divided by 6, round it up to the closest thousandths, which gives us 0.333. And we keep going on, so on. And this will give us 0.5. And this one here, once again, 0.166. Now we're going to times that by our cubic feet, okay? So now we've got our cubic feet, which is 27 cubic feet. 27, 27, 27. We're going to multiply these numbers, and we're going to round up to the nearest tenth, okay? Round it up to the nearest tenth. That gives us 4... four 4.5, okay, that, that gives us 8.9, this one gives us 13.5, and this one gives us 4.5. So now these ones here are done. This is how many cubic feet of these you're going to need. That's how many cubic feet of sand, how many cubic feet of gravel. Now your cement mix, you usually buy that in pounds. Now remember, I told you there are 94 pounds per cubic foot. So we're going to times that by pounds. So times 94 equals 432 pounds of cement mix. Now this usually comes in a fluid form, okay? Now how that's going to work is we now know... Now know that there's how many gallons per cubic feet. We know that there is 7.48 gallons, okay? 7.48 gallons. So we're going to times our 4.5, okay? So I, I, I'm going to, I, I didn't figure this one out yet, so let's go... We're going to use a calculator, okay? We got 4.5, 4.5 times 
seven point four eight equals that gives us thirty three point six six or we can round it up to thirty four gallons okay so that's it now we want to now you guys need to know how much water my rule of thumb is point five point five for water so how that works is we're going to start a new one down here we got 0.56 so we're going to divide 0.5 by 6 round it up to the closest thousandths which is 0 0.083 we're going to times that by 27 which equals round it up to the closest thousandths again 2.9 for one okay now we know that there are 7.48 gallons per cubic foot so we're going to times that by 7.48 which equals rounded up to the closest tenth would be 16.8 or we can, but we want a little extra. So we're just going to round that up to an 18. So there you go. You now have your measurements. So what do we need here for our, for, to make one cubic yard? We need, for cement mix, we need 432 pounds. For our sand, we need 8.9 cubic feet. Okay, or feet two. <laughs> For our gravel, we need 13.5 cubic feet. For our additive, we need 34 gallons. And for our water, we need 18 gallons. And there you guys go. Quick and simple and easy. Make your own mix and you don't have to buy pre-mix. Now for pre-mix for 60 pounds, if you're going to do 60 pounds, okay, we got 60, 80, and 90, which are the most common for pre-mixes, okay? If you want to know how much water to add to these things, that's 5, okay, 7, 8, 8, that's Five gallons, I mean quarts, five quarts, seven quarts, and eight quarts. Okay? That's Q T quarts. Five quarts, seven quarts, eight quarts. And those are your rule of thumb for mixing those. So I hope this helps you out and I hope you guys learned something and I hope you have a better understanding. Catch you all on the flip side.